Hey folks, my name's Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Today, we're gonna to go over our collect of the day. Let's pray. Father of mercy, alone, we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. When we are discouraged by our weakness, strengthen us to follow Christ, our pattern and our hope who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. When we are discouraged by our weakness, strengthen us to follow Christ, our pattern and our hope. You ever get discouraged? You ever get discouraged by your weaknesses? That might be a little bit problematic to hear. Do you ever get discouraged by yourself, by your actions, by what you do, by what you can't do, by what you're trying to do but not able to do quite well enough? Do you ever get discouraged trying to do something that you really believe in, trying to do something that you really think you're supposed to, and you just you run out of gas, you run out of energy, you, you run out of, out of passion? Or, or it becomes so murky and so muddled that uh, you're not entirely certain which direction to go with it, or it becomes too big. It becomes too big, too unwieldy. I'll let you in a little something. I find it difficult to stand here in front of a camera. I find it very difficult to stand here in front of a camera. I find it difficult to preach on Sunday mornings. I don't like, it's not, it's not my favorite thing in the world to do. Every time, every single time I preach, whether it's in this church, filled with friends and, and people that have known us, my family, and, have, and, and love us, I'm nervous. If I'm in a church filled with strangers, I'm nervous. If I'm, if I'm in my home parish, if I'm in my, my old parish back in Miramichi, I'm nervous. It doesn't matter. I'm not comfortable speaking in front of people. It doesn't matter where I am. It doesn't matter if I'm live. It doesn't matter if I'm recorded. I'm not comfortable here. There is too much, there is so much pressure on this moment, right? There is so much pressure on, on, on those moments when you stand up and you share. What if I say too much? What if I, what if I don't say enough? What if I don't use the time that's been allotted to me properly? What if I, what if I go in a direction that I'm not supposed to go? What if I, I go do too deep into something and, and, and re-trigger or re-traumatize somebody? And I never mean to do that. What if, 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 Anxiety. Anxiety for me leads to being overprepared. Being overprepared for me leads to Discouragement. Brain is foggy. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. Not sure what I'm supposed to say. That, that little, that, that demon of perfectionism starts scratching on the chalkboard that is my brain. And I despair. The energy, I can literally feel the energy in my, in my body. Just drain down into my feet. And I become incredibly discouraged. I become incredibly discouraged. And this happens, this happens to me in numerous different situations and new, for numerous different reasons. I'm sure it happens to others out there as well. Uh, the voice, you, you can't do it. You got to do it different. You got to do it better. You got to do it this way. You got to do it that way. Are you sure you're doing it right? Are you sure you're doing it wrong? Oh, it's just so much. But in all of that, there's one common thread that if you can find it and if you can pull it, then everything will fall, literally everything will fall where it needs to be. And that one common thread is me. I am focused on me. Me, 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 me. I got to do this. I got to do that. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, I have to. It's all about me. And, and it's, when it's all about me, even though I'm trying to do this all for the right reasons, it's still, I put all that pressure on myself. I put all that weight on myself. And I'm not strong enough to carry it. That is where I am weakest. But if I can pull that thread and say, no, it's not about you. 
It's about Christ. Christ promises that if I follow Christ, if I follow Jesus, if I follow his life, if I follow his teachings, if I follow the essence of who he was and who he is in my life, that pressure dissipates. Because then I realize it's not me that is speaking. It really should be him. It's not my words that should be coming out of my mouth. They should be his words. It's not my plan that I should be trying to follow and execute. It is his plan that I should be trying to follow and execute. And the pressure dissipates. Strength returns. I move forward with him as my pattern. I move forward with him as my hope. This prayer, this idea of when I am discouraged in my weakness, give me the strength to follow Christ, my pattern and my hope. Help us to recognize, Lord, that you've never asked us to do this on our own strength, with our own power, along our own plan. Help us to recognize, Lord, that we do what we do. We do all that we do in your strength, according to your plan. And that Jesus is the embodiment, the physical embodiment of that plan, of your way. When I'm discouraged by my weakness, help me to remember I'm not supposed to be following myself. I'm not supposed to be counting on myself. I'm supposed to be counting on the one that you sent for us. Let's pray it again. Father of mercy, alone we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. When we are discouraged by our weakness, Strengthen us to follow Christ, our pattern and our hope, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. And may you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that as you find yourself in those moments of being discouraged, that you'll remember we're not supposed to be trying to do this life thing alone. We're supposed to be counting on the one that God sent for us. Amen.